uh, hi everyone in this tutorial we will talk about the numerical methods part one and uh, we will be concentrating on the bisection method so what are the numerical methods so when uh, the analytical methods do not uh, work because of their limitations then engineers or scientists have to go to the graphical or numerical method so it's a it's an indirect way to calculate the answers to your problems uh, so we will talk about the bisection method so suppose uh, we have uh, uh, equation and we want to solve for y suppose we have uh, y is equal to f of x now if i draw a line i can see that suppose this is y and this is x and the equation looks like this and so now as you can see that uh, uh, i need to find this number so the solution to this if I want to solve for uh, um, x so suppose um, I want to find uh, f of uh, x is equal to 0 and I want to solve for x so solve for x means that I need to find a value of x at which y is equal to 0 and this is the place where y is equal to 0 so we need to find this point so how will you find this point so if you look uh, carefully that if i put any value of x uh, above this number for, for example if i have uh, uh, suppose this is uh, x1 so this will be x1 and so this will be x2 so in this case uh, f of x1 will be positive and f of x2 will be negative so if you want to uh, calculate uh, this uh, point then my first best approximation will be to have uh, x is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 so i will look and calculate uh, let me call it f dash x so i will calculate uh, f of x dash and then if uh, is positive or negative i can go from there to the next approximation and see uh, and try to go as close to this point as possible so this method may might not work for every uh, formula or every uh, equation we need to solve but for some of them it will work if uh, some of uh, value of, of x give you a negative number and some of the value of x give you a positive number so let me uh, give you an example if i have uh, uh, f of uh, x is equal to x cube minus 4x minus 9 so in this case if i calculate f of 2 that will be equal to uh, negative and uh, f of 3 will be equal to positive now uh, so my first approximation will be that uh, x1 is equal to uh, 1 by 2 2 plus 3 and that will be equal to 2.5 now i will calculate f of 2.5 and if i calculate that uh, it will be equal to negative 3.375 so as you can see this is way uh, not not even close to zero so we will better do one more approximation and this is a negative number so if this is a negative number what i'll do is uh, i'll take uh, uh, okay. I will approximate x2 that will be equal to 1 by 2 x1 uh, plus 3 and then in that case it will be 2.75 now uh, again I will solve for f of uh, 2.75 and that will give me uh, 0 0.7969 so this is more closer to 0 now but this is a positive number so now in this case i will go for uh, one more approximation and uh, what i'll do is i'll say 
x3 is equal to 1 by 2 x1 plus x2 and that will be equal to 2.625 now um, again f of uh, 2.625 will be equal to negative 1.4121 which is a negative number so if uh, i don't uh, try to go beyond this uh, so my answer will be most uh, closely to um, x4 is equal to 1 by 2 x2 plus x3 and that will be equal to 2.6875 so that is the closest uh, uh, root we have calculated from this by uh, partition method or, or by section method and uh, this is not the exact answer but this is a way of approximation so if now uh, you can write also a small computer program which will keep doing uh, this approximation to finally get to the answer but this is a uh, this is a method which will be best suitable for computational simulation because you can write a program and say it to keep calculating it until you reach zero and that way you can uh, solve for your equations uh, so um, i hope this uh, tutorial will help thank you